Hello, and welcome to Wolfpack Talk, a podcast for the Madison College community. I'm Dr. Howard Spearman, Vice President of Student Affairs. Today, we're doing another virtual fireside chat with one of our very own students. We truly want to stay connected to you. And today, Neve is going to talk to us about her transition to remote, remote learning. She's also going to speak to how she is coping through this COVID-19 situation. Welcome, Neve. Which program are you in and how long have you been attending Madison College? I am in the journalism program and this is my third year at Madison College. Great, thank you. Ah, so this should be uh, natural for you since you're in the journalism program, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> are you able to share about your past online class experiences and if so, how has your transition to online learning been? Well, the online classes that I've taken before were easy and really structured, and I love taking online classes. And now that it's in-person classes transition to online, it's been kind of hard because they weren't structured to be that way. Um, but otherwise, it usually hasn't been a problem for me with my online classes. So... What ha what about the transition has been smooth for you? Um, I think a lot of my professors are very understanding on what their expectations need to be now that we are doing all of our learning at home. So they've been really great about communicating what they want from us and how we can help them make it easier. Effective communication is always a plus, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> so... Now, opposite of that, now we talked about the smooth transition. What has been challenging through this transition? Um, for me personally, the most challenging thing about the transition has been that a couple of my classes are really hands-on. So I was in an environmental science class. So we would have labs once a week and those were three hours long and then we would have a lecture. So now that we're at home, we're unable to have those in-person labs and really make that connection with the course. Uh, definitely, that's definitely an adjustment. Now, if you can just talk to me a little bit about something that's positive from your first week back from spring break. As you recall, we extended spring break and that's when students were aware that we're going fully online. What was that experience like? Was there anything positive that you could take away from that experience? Um, I would say the most positive thing about coming back from spring break was that everyone was on the same page with kind of the uncomfort level and kind of the confusion with everything. So we all kind of worked together as a class with our instructors on how we can make it better for everyone to just adjust to it. So it was nice that everyone kind of felt the same way with everything. Well, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Now, Neve, do you have any advice that you would like to share with your peers regarding remote learning? My biggest advice is to have a very detailed planner. I had to purchase an entire new planner since we switched to online learning because I'm the kind of person that writes out all of my assignment due dates throughout. So then I was so color coordinated with everything. And then all of a sudden we went to online and everything changed. So I bought a new planner. I kept the same colors and I made sure that I knew exactly when things were due so I can try and keep up with everything. And also just making sure that you can keep in contact with your classmates who might have the same kind of confusion as well. So I'm in a lot of group chats and I got a lot of my classmates numbers and we really kept in contact with each other. So it sounds like there were two points that you uh, shared today regarding uh, your advice. One is to be organized. And for you, the planner was the tool that you used to maintain your organization for a classroom and making sure assignments uh, are turned in on time. And then mm -hmm. the second, the second point you made is the importance of being engaged. And so you still made sure that you're engaged with your classmates regarding online learning so that you guys can feed off each other uh, regarding homework, assignments, 
group projects and things of that nature. Is that correct? Yes. Well, thank you for providing those two points. I do appreciate that. And I believe those are two excellent points that uh, students could uh, learn from and continue to uh, take away from this interview. Uh, we know that there are challenges students are facing on a regular basis with being a remote remote learner. Are there any challenges that you are comfortable sharing that you face in your personal life uh, while transitioning to being a remote learner? Sure. Um, well, here at our house, I have a younger brother who is in high school still, who was used to getting out and doing all of his learning at the high school. And then I was able to go out and do my thing. My dad's a graphic designer who works from home full time. So now we're all in the house. We all have different meetings and things to schedule. And I don't It's It's been tricky to make sure we communicate with each other inside of our in our house together just to make sure like I have a meeting at 1 30 so please don't be loud entertain the dogs for a while like everyone stay out of my hair um but my mom is a registered nurse so she is still out working at the hospital so we got to make sure that we're all on the same page with updates on the virus itself and just make sure that we can stay safe in our house Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Uh, it's definitely an adjustment uh, at home, right? And, yeah. Uh, work life, work life balance means something completely different now. <laughs> right. And I, I work at the college too, so it's been interesting to see how my department's transitioned with everything. But it's been fun. We've been able to keep in contact with each other. Definitely makes me miss being on campus even more that I can't see classmates or my coworkers. Definitely. So Neem, what have you learned uh, in your journey to be an online student that's really uh, pertinent to yourself? So what is it about yourself? What is it that you learned about yourself in this online journey? Um, I learned that it's important for me to be more present with my classes. I think the more you can be engaged with your instructor and your classmates, the more you'll understand things. I've also prided myself all of the years before this that I'm really good under pressure and I like completing assignments close to the deadline when I feel like I do my best work. And I've really learned the hard way with online learning that I need to space out my assignments more before it's relaxing time with my family and all of a sudden I have an assignment due in 20 minutes that I completely forgot about so I, it's it's been tricky but I've also just had to be strict and honest with myself that this isn't the time that I can use my old habits so you're still making adjustments you're still making adjustments on the fly no matter how organized you are uh, yeah. you still have to adjust right? yeah for sure it's I like to feel like I'm confident with staying on top of my assignments, but it's, it's still just a work in progress, I guess, where I will flip through my planner and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I forgot that it's even Tuesday today. I thought it was Monday and now I have to do something. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> it makes complete sense to me. <laughs> Thank you. Right. <laughs> so Neve, we're at the end of our interview today. And so in closing, would you be able to share when you expect to graduate and what are your plans after Madison College? Well, this semester I will be finished with the journalism certificate program. Um, but after that, I plan on staying longer at Madison College because I intend on doing the marketing program. So I wanted to do that so I can better myself and my position at the college where I'm in the marketing and public relations department. So I feel like it's important for me to further my education and be more knowledgeable within my department and be able to help out and just stay as long as I can with them. Thank you for sharing. I do appreciate that. And I look forward to us continue to work together. Yes. Thanks, Neve, for your time today. And thank you, Wolfpack family, for listening once again to our podcast. Please share your comments and questions, and above all, stay safe and healthy. Take care.